Guys, how are we doing? This is um, this is a full bridge, uh, and I've swapped out a uh, different coil. I've swapped in a different coil, and it had a much larger coil in there before. And uh, do you know what? This is working out really well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tinker around with it on a just low power setup, and I can stick it on the Variac. But to start with, I've got this on. Um, a, I think this is a Hewlett Packard. No, I think this might be a Dell. Uh, it is a Dell, 3.25 amp, um, 20 volt DC charger. That is a DC to DC step up transformer, it's 80 volts, so about 8 quid on uh, eBay, 600 watt. Um, and that's wired into the full bridge. And I have shown you this before. Okay, and what I want to do is slowly build up the top load. So this is So that's pretty cute right? What I'm going to do, put a new top load on and I'll see you in a sec Okay, here we go again That makes quite a difference, doesn't it? <laughs> but it doesn't stop there. Right now, I've swapped the top over, I can do these quickly. So, I've got... Um, we've got medium size bear this time. Mummy bear and um, Papa's there. Okay, here we go. Here it gets a bit sort of antennae, it starts growling a little bit. Chairs off. Right uh, now, next one up. Bear with me. Jake's thinking you bear, do right? right? It's really hard to do one handed. I'm almost pro. Okay, here we go. Giant sphere. <laughs> I don't know what size it is. Probably not so good. Bites more. Okay, I've got uh, a coil set up to uh, run wireless off this, so I've just got to set it up a little bit for one sec. Okay, guys, just a bit of fun. So I've got, I'll try and step back for you. So this is the, the largest of the spheres still on there. This coil, incidentally, is let's get uh, let's go ruler that we haven't completely burnt. Uh, this is I think this is what starts about there. Oh, Greg is eight inches. Look at these. It pulls me. Really, won't go into that. Okay, so we've got the coil here to be the receiver, the breakout point. It's been taken from there, move it to there, and switch it on. You're here. Do you know, I've said this to so many different people, that this is a really great way of tuning. If you just want to play around with some coils and you're trying to tune, if you've got not enough top load this end, when you approach it, it will start to break out, it will come alive. If you've got a bulb in the, top, in the middle of your coil, it will come on. Then you need a tiny bit more, but just do small increments. Just find anything you can, bolts, nuts, things like that, and add a little bit at a time. And what you'll find is your body being near it as well. 
is affecting it. So when you step away, you might find it goes out of tune because you've added too much. Um, uh, alternate, it works the other end as well. If you've got too much this end, if I start to move near this end, I will add capacitance to this end and it will bring this into tune. So you can either decrease this end or add a little bit more this side. So, and you can do it this way. So this should be a tiny bit out of tune. It, 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 it kind of changes a tiny little bit every now and again. Just if I've moved them or anything like that. Um, it really is on a distance thing as well, how these are tuned. It works on this distance. If I, incre if I increase the distance, then I've got to change the capacitance again. Um, okay, so it works better if I switch one of these lights off. Uh, you can see what's going on. So if I approach this, So it needs a tiny bit more. I could try it. I could take this off. I've got... This is like a coffee, like... Ouch! <laughs> ouch! Grind this. Like a little sip in. You can see it. Okay, I can feel it like fuzzing on my fingers. Ah! Hold there for a sec. It's tipping off. <laughs> kind of hate it when I'm right, but it did work out okay, didn't it? If I go near this end, I'll sit it out of tune. So I'm just here, <laughs> very close to getting an arc, and I'll sit it out of tune. Same this end. I've had to added too much. My great big hand. If I now adjust the distance, I'm messing with it. I'm messing with it again. It's kind of pretty. And there we go. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, take care. Guys, I missed a bit. This is your other tuning tool. The, uh, just having a light or a sound or some, some sort of indicator to know that you're, 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 you're doing something, you're making a change. Uh, and a light's brilliant for that. So if I switch these on again, sorry about the noise. Okay. Now, I can probably take the breakout point off. Let's double that row. And you'll see if I approach this, you'll probably see it goes into tune. Yeah? This is where you can find like a real finite tuning now. Because you've seen where I've got arcs of it. They're a bit they're a bit random, they go all over the place, you know. With the light, you start to, to really know how you're doing. You know, if I go the other end, it goes out. Come away from it. Come away from both of them. Yeah, it's just my hand here. Yeah, see how that's working. Great little tools, you know. Something, like kind of like the breakout because it's loud and you can kind of judge pretty quickly, you know, what's going on if you get more of a growl. You'll find the output goes down if you've got a load on. So this is running, this is running just off a primary, just sitting around it. And I've just tapped up to find a sweet spot. I've got some really great voltages coming off this. Some really, and I'd like to show you, the measurements probably aren't right because there's no ground reference, etc. But uh, I'd like to show you, so I'll add that in, uh, into another video. Uh, but yeah. Oh, uh, so if I take the load off, And again, audibly, that is just, you know, it's your indicator straight away, isn't it? You're making change. Okay, guys, I've rambled enough. Take care. Cheers.